Hey, it's Steve Damaris with the MSU Deer Lab. We're out scouting deer today. It's early fall and hey, we're in the deer woods. Time to start figuring out where the deer are, how many there are, and, and how they may respond to you and where, how you can set up to catch, uh, catch a good one this year. One of the key components of any deer management program is knowing how many deer and what kinds of deer. In the bucks, you want to know the age structure, antler development. You might be able to use photos to uh, educate your, your hunting buddies. If you own a property and you want to uh, help them help you select the right kind of bucks for harvest and which bucks to uh, protect, you can do that with a uh, good camera survey. And we're not trying to promote any particular camera brand, but one that is effective uh, at getting good quality photos day and night. That's what you need. Uh, we have these set up on a one minute interval with a three photo burst because we want to catch as many of the unique bucks in particular that come to our bait site. And uh, a three photo burst will give you a little bit change a uh, slight change in the sequence of photos so you can get that little tweak of uh, what the deer antlers really look like and that's really critical a good estimate of deer density is key to your management program you want to look at the density the age structure of your bucks the sex ratio and the fawn recruitment now here in southern mississippi we can't do a good fawn recruitment estimate during September, which would be the time for the pre-hunting season camera survey. So you might have to wait and do a post-season camera survey for the fawn recruitment, or if you're in an area with earlier breeding and earlier fawning, you might hit them really well here in September. Uh, in our state, we have to do our camera surveys the month prior to the hunting season if we want to use bait. To uh, use bait, and, and your state may differ, but in Mississippi we have to have a, a free permit from the state agency. They just want to know where you're doing the camera survey and that you're putting uh, bait on the ground. A common question we get is how many cameras do I need to properly survey my population or, or my property? Well, we generally recommend a camera per 100 acres for an organized camera survey. If you're just hunting the deer woods, scouting the deer woods, you could put cameras across wherever you have trails and, and scrapes and, and monitor them throughout the hunting season. But in a pre-season population estimation process like we're doing here, we want to have uh, at least one camera per 100 acres. And in this property, it's, uh, we're in right now, it's about 670 acres. And we've stocked the cameras in here pretty tight, a camera per 50 acres, because we really want to come up with a good solid density estimate. And that's not every deer you will catch coming to the camera. It's a minimum count. You come up with the, uh, the known unique bucks in your survey and that's you know you have at least that many and there's some ways to extrapolate to a larger estimate and we'll uh, we'll add a link in this video to a publication from the deer lab that'll explain in a little bit more detail how to conduct a survey and how to interpret your photos i like to run a camera survey for any at least seven days preferably 10 or even, in this case, we're going to run a 14-day camera survey because I really want to try to nail down the population estimate for this property. We have a, the bait we're using today is corn, just shelled corn, and uh, I like to put it about four to five paces away from the camera and running perpendicular. Uh, we've got about a four-foot swath of, of corn here, and we're going to uh, hopefully have deer coming in from the sides, and with the camera in that direction, you get a good side view, and as they hit, pull their heads up and look around, you get a really good uh, view of their, their antlers. We're uh, baiting and setting the cameras up on the same day, uh, and we're going to, again, run it for 14 days, and not all of states allow corn to be used during a camera survey. So you need to check your local regulations before you attempt it. And if you're in a CWD management zone, you certainly can't do this. It's not allowed. It would concentrate animals and facilitate uh, the spreading of diseases. So don't just do this because we're, we're telling you how to do it. Make sure you can do it legally in your home state and on your property. Yeah, one thing you want to make sure is you, you don't set your camera up, put your bait pile out, and then go away for 14 days. There's problems with cameras that can occur, and the bait's going to run out. Hopefully, you're having lots of deer coming to it, and you want to make sure you keep a, a well-baited site, 
and have an operational camera. It's a real bummer if you're planning on doing a camera survey for two weeks and you come back and, and you didn't have any camera except, uh, any photos except for the one day that you set it up. So come back uh, in two to three days and uh, middle of the day so that you're not running off deer from it during the, the peak uh, late afternoon or early morning visitations. And so check the camera, make sure your baits uh, uh, if refresh it as needed and, and after that first visit you'll know how, uh, how much of the bait is being used and then you come back at that frequency. And again, just double check your cameras making sure they're taking pictures. A lot of you may ask, well, how large of an area do I need to do a camera survey on? Well, if you have property, you can do a camera survey. And what it's going to tell you is which deer are on your property, whatever the size. Now, this 600 plus acre property isn't uh, enough acreage to say you have a, an entire deer population on it, but uh, it's, it's a good size property and you have, you'll have some deer living most of the time on this property. And proper food, proper cover, there's not a lot of reason for deer to leave, particularly the females. So uh, camera surveys can be done on any sized property just realize that you're only capturing a portion of the population that is using your, your property.